Hi ladies, welcome to the Feminine Universe. I am so happy to have you here. Have you ever noticed that there are certain women that men seem to go crazy over? The ones they seem to cater to, race to open doors for, buy non-stop gifts for, take on amazing dates and trips, and just go out of their way to hang around? Have you ever wondered why that is? The easy answer would be, well, some women are just incredibly beautiful. And it is true, some people are more genetically blessed than others. But if you give it a second thought, you know that's not the only reason. I can't be the only one who's ever heard a woman say, how could he pick her over me? She's not even that pretty. Or I'm prettier than her. Side note, ladies, let's try to never say things like this, at least not out loud. I've never seen it end well for anyone or lead to anything productive. For the ladies who do want to dig into this phenomenon a little bit, let's get into it. In general, the masculine is naturally drawn to the feminine. I think that's a pretty simple concept. And the more feminine energy you give off, the more masculine energy is drawn to you. And that's not only because the feminine is pleasant to look at and be around, but because it also allows the masculine to perform at its peak. Basically, men tend to feel like the more feminine you are, the more masculine they're allowed to be. Well-adjusted, well-rounded women who also lean into their femininity are somewhat rare, just as well-adjusted, well-rounded men who lean into their masculinity are also somewhat rare. And when you come across something or someone rare, you immediately recognize that because it's so different from what you come across on a regular day-to-day -day basis. You ladies know what I'm talking about. Certain men will walk in the room and you are instantly alert and paying attention even if you're trying not to make it obvious and for the girls who are a little less subtle they'll go from being completely chill and detached to giddy as a schoolgirl. we've all seen it happen it's the reaction both males and females have when they come across someone who they find rare impressive or interesting a feminine woman makes a point to always look put together. We've spoken about this, right? We already know that looking your best makes life easier in so many ways, but it is also something that men love about feminine women as it appeals to their visual nature. So this first thing that they love will instantly grab their attention. Then, as they interact with you, your personality and emotional stability come into play. So he was already pulled in by your looks and how you present yourself. Then when he realizes you are healed and positive and not carrying around a cargo ship's worth of baggage, you are witty, you can volley in a conversation without hijacking it, you can ask engaging questions and really listen to the answers. You also live an interesting life that you can speak passionately about and have activities to do that you'd need time away from him to pursue. At this point, he is intrigued and absolutely feeling the vibes. It's pretty easy to see why any man would love a woman who is good looking with a great personality and well-rounded overall. And while these things are important, they aren't uniquely feminine. Adding in some extra femininity is that secret sauce that causes an additional pull that they can't quite put their finger on. When you lean into your feminine and let him take the lead a bit and periodically compliment his choices, the choices you enjoy of course, like the way the bottle of wine he chose went perfectly with the meal, it makes him feel competent and like he's doing things right with you. And it makes him want to keep up with that competent streak and you give him the space to do just that. Where some women might be scrambling to prove themselves and show that they've got it, you are comfortable hanging back and letting him prove himself to you. 
and being able to lean back a bit is also beneficial for you because it gives you a chance to see what kind of man you're dealing with. Is he the type that's going to do whatever it takes to make things happen for you or is he the type with a million excuses for why he couldn't get things done? When planning, is he picking all of the cheaper or budget options? This may tell you something about his ability or willingness to provide. Are his plans haphazardly and sloppily thrown together at the last minute? This may tell you he's a bit careless and you might be in for a lot of half-baked plans. It is so easy to curate the perfect answer and tell you what you want to hear in response to your questions. The best way to really learn about someone and get a real idea of who you're dealing with is to allow them to be themselves and just observe and see for yourself. I'll give you a clear example whether you've been dating a guy for some time or it's your husband of 10 years. I've always wanted to go for a ride in a hot air balloon. Do you think you could plan that for us? See, some women might approach this situation with their notes on all the hot air balloon fields within 50 miles printed out or with screenshots on their phone and a date picked out and a whole itinerary for the day to go with it. As a woman living in enhanced femininity, you still tell him what you want, but you also allow him to go out, hunt down the details and execute the plan, which gives him a level of satisfaction that the first scenario could never. You see, sometimes the only difference between the girl who is getting catered to and pampered and the girl asking, why doesn't he do that with me or why doesn't my man do this is just giving them an occasion to rise to and some space to make it happen. Men, like many other male mammals, like to show off and earn a female's affections. They love to have a position and a purpose within a relationship, not just be a tag along to plans you've already fully made. Men also love tasks they can succeed in that will make you happy, and feminine women give them the room to do just that. Feminine women look great, are well-rounded, and can lean back and allow the masculine to perform at its peak. They also have the options to move on if their needs aren't met. Seriously, what's not to love? That was one little slice on why men love feminine women. We'll be talking about this more as we go along. Hope you enjoyed and found a little inspo on how to incorporate a little extra femininity into your relationships. Until next time, ladies, stay feminine, stay focused, and have fun.